Hi, my name is Brandy Neatly and I am a black queer filmmaker from Chicago. I lead with that because that plays such a part in who I am and the experiences that I've had. And I, I can't even believe that I can say filmmaker next to it because I've dreamt of that my entire life. And so I'm here to introduce you to the film, one of my final films that I'm making at night for New York Film Academy um, as a directing student. And the film is called Vigilant. This is, a, this is definitely like, I don't know if saying a passion project is bad, but this is a passion project. I can't even believe it's real and everyone, my entire team that's a part of it, they're playing a part in making this magic come to life. It's about JT, my protagonist, who is a strong leader of an organization called DEF, which is De-Escalation First. This matters because it's a lot of communities that we wish we had resources like this that we can call and they, their first objective is to de-escalate de the situation or to provide services. We don't need one number to call for everything. De-escalation um, DEF provides different services to support the community where it sees fit. And building this world was very important to me and I'm excited to see it come to life. So also, that's that's JT's shallow world. Now going deeper within him, he is a he is a strong leader who's also struggling with his sexuality. As a black man, he hasn't had the the freedom to explore, even express himself the way the way he desires, the way he needs to be able to. And so we see in the film the conflict of him not fully living, not fully being seen. And, you know, of course, I won't tell you the whole story because I want you to also see the movie. But this is this is a story I really want. I wanted this to be one of my bigger films to come out first because I think it's such an important subject to talk about. And it's also to kind of check, like, the audience's biases. Like, do you still like this character now that you know he's queer? that you know he's struggling. You know, there's a lot of people that I've ran into, a lot of men, non-binary folks that I've met in my upbringing that because of, because of the wall that was put up around them that they are not allowed to live or be seen, that it led them to live, you know, different lives and different paths and journeys. So I want this movie to be representation. I want this movie to be seen. I, I want my voice to get out there and I have so many other films to do that. But first, I guess second, I really need your support. Um, there's a lot of a lot of people putting their hands onto this to make it real, but I also need the funds to bring it to life. And um, we are gonna make DEF shirts and some other neat things for if you're able to support me fun financially, I wanna be able to thank you. So help me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But um, thank you so much for this time and this opportunity to share just a little piece of my world with you. And I hope to see you in the future. And if you have it in you, I'm here. Vigilance here. The cast is here. Crew's here. And we thank you. All right. Peace.